I hate 3D modeling. I mean, I, I love game art, but I don't actually enjoy the act of 3D modeling an object. And I feel like a lot of you guys are in the same boat as me in this regard. Fortunately for us, there are a lot of specializations in the game industry that don't necessarily require expert 3D modeling skills. Here's a few of them. The role of the texture artist is to create realistic or stylized textures for characters or objects. They specialize in bringing to life all of the surfaces and assets in the game, such as rocks, streets, clothing, and weapons, just to name a few. Depending on the scope of the job, texture artists should be able to create procedural materials as well as hand-painted textures depending on the project. For this, knowledge of graphic software such as Photoshop, Substance Painter, Maya, Mari, and Substance Designer are really common software that you'd be working with on a daily basis. Texture artists work closely with designers and developers on the best texture, or texture range, for each object and character within a game, while maintaining a high level of quality within the technical constraints of the engine. Great texturing requires an understanding of form, value, and color, as well as how to convey storytelling using 2D graphics. If you want to learn more about texturing, feel free to check out my course, The 3D Artist Coloring Book, where I teach you how to create anime style textures. If you'd love the idea of creating water, fire, explosions, lasers, and other dynamic effects, you will probably be interested in becoming a real-time VFX artist. Now, VFX artist is just an umbrella term comprising multiple VFX roles. Their responsibilities include creating high quality visuals within the project's budget, creating special effects through the use of particle systems, and blowing shit up. Highly technical skills are needed alongside a very solid understanding of traditional art principles such as shape, value, color, and timing. Software like Houdini, Maya, Unreal Engine, and Unity are commonly used by VFX artists. Knowledge of programming languages such as Python and HLSL can potentially be required for these jobs depending on the size of the company and the scope of the project. Animation is the life force behind every game. Animation takes characters and brings life to them through an expert combination of artistry and technical skills to make characters run, fight, and interact with the world around them. An animator's work needs to draw and reveal attitude through movement, work within the engine's technical constraints, fit within the context of the game, and maximize the opportunities for gameplay and interactivity. Game animations are often complex dances between different types of movements, which is why animators usually create animation libraries that they can later reuse. Tools of the trade include 3D animation software like Maya, Motion Builder, and 3ds Max, as well as game engines like Unity and Unreal, and sometimes programming languages such as Pymel and C++. Most animator roles require excellent communication skills as their work is really collaborative. They need to keep close ties with all other departments including design, programmers, and character and prop artists. Despite the myths, an animator within the video game industry doesn't necessarily need to be good at drawing or even 2D animation. Instead, solid knowledge of the animation software and understanding of how the animation needs to translate to the players in the context of a video game is much more desirable. Just like how cinema needs a director of photography and a gaffer to determine how lights will be used in production, the game development pipeline also requires a lighting artist to bring life to their environments. Lighting artists have a complex understanding of how light affects the final environments, how they can use them to guide the player toward their points of interest, as well as convey the general tone and atmosphere of the story through the light's quality and placement. Lighting artists adjust the lighting in the scenes to fit the context perfectly, accounting for weather, time of day, location, and obviously story. If you'd like to become a lighting artist, you need to remember that this job is very, very technical in addition to requiring great artistic abilities. A lighting artist or lighting technical director will understand color theory, perspective, and design theory and have a strong sense of values. But they will also need to know the scientific principles behind lighting, how light interacts with the environments and certain materials, and even how it affects the mood of the player. Lighting artists work with 3D lighting software like V-Ray, Arnold, RenderShift or RenderMan, and even sometimes 2D compositing software like After Effects, Blackmagic Fusion, and Nuke. So yeah, I hate modeling.